Hi guys, welcome to the, I didn't realise I first record, welcome to the channel of love. Um, I'm not sure what the energy is today, well I am, because I can't seem to escape the syncs, the synchronisations, music's killing me, um, about I should have told you what you meant to me, I've been having conversations with my dad who's like, uh, well he's 88 this year, uh, the end of this month, and he's talking about his relationship with my mum, and then he's talking, I was talking about weight loss, and I'd seen a photograph of my dad, and I kind of looked at it and thought, either he's really yearning for his soulmate, because um, my dad will be married, he, my dad actually wasn't married to my mum, but my dad was married before my mum, but he never married my mum, and then when I was about five, and he, my parents uh, split up, and then my dad remarried when I was about 11, 12, to a lovely lady, and um, and she passed away, or made her transition, um, it's really weird, the 1st of August, and my husband was the 31st of August of the same year, and for some reason, this has brought us very close together, anyway, so I'm speaking to my dad, today he rings me, as he worries, um, normal stuff, have I got a job, yeah, and uh, have I got any money, <laughs> Uh, because he's worried, and it's like, okay, it's, it's all good, and uh, <laughs> you have to chuckle, but it's just a program, and I haven't spoke to him for a while, and then I just get into the flow of the conversation, we get going, and we, we were just talking today about me being a child, um, and the things that he used to do, he used to rub my hair, um, really roughly with a towel to dry it, and he was telling me about how he used to brush, there's three of us, and he was saying the most wonderful thing that came out of the relationship with my mum, he was like, your mum was not a bad person, I don't even know what happened, and it's that kind of looking for what happened, and he said, but I had the three most amazing daughters out of that, and um, so it was really nice for him to be able to talk about my mum, but then we also spoke about him kind of yearning for his soulmate who's made her transition, so me seeing him with his weight loss, um, kind of rings to me as he going through, you know, his own spiritual transformation, which for my dad would be bloody amazing, because my mum was very open about death, and she always said, you won't be taken until you've done what you've come to do, which I always kind of, that was fine with me, so I was never afraid of death, my mum had everything planned out, how she wanted a funeral, what she wanted us to do, no black, he wasn't allowed to wear black, we had to have a big party afterwards, so we kind of discussed it, we couldn't discuss this with my dad, he was so morbid, don't talk like that, so to be able to have these conversations with him, and I said, you really miss her, and he's like, oh, you wouldn't even know how much, and, but he went on to say about how he's got friends, and a really good support network, which is amazing, but he was off into town, and uh, to do his shopping, but he won't be uplifting the world, uh, he still drives, and he, he's an amazing man, and, um, but to have that conversation, and um, and then I put on the radio, and there, there's only there's kind of reminders of my own memories of teenage years. But I was talking about the weight loss. I said I've seen a photograph of you. You've lost weight. He said, Yeah, I could have done with losing it. I said, Yeah, me too. You know, I've lost weight. I said, But you know, I've had people kind of worried about me. And he's like, uh, He says I feel like I've got the body I was when I was in the army when I was 18. And I went. I was thinking exactly the same, Dad. I look just like I did when I was 17, 18, 19. Um, I've always kind of been, I used to be called a stick, so you used to call me Legs 11, because apparently my legs went all the way up to their armpit, up to my armpits. So, And so we was kind of, I don't know why I'm saying this, whether the weight loss, but it's like, but I've been this weight before, um, and just because others haven't seen it, they can kind of get a bit worried. So it's like my dad's, it's amazing. It's a, uh, it's really good to have these refreshing conversations with him. Um, and then the songs have just been coming on about lovers. Um, I was also on the phone again today for about two hours um, discussing as well these special connections, these connections that can't be replaced. It's really weird because I've got like a, a seat here, like someone should be here. There is somebody here and it's, it's my little baby cat, Tia. She doesn't normally sleep here on the chairs but she was in my chair here so it, I don't want to move her so and if I move her too much she just she's a bit of a scaredy cat so she's very delicate she's only a tiny tiny why are we talking about our physique I don't know anyway so it's kind of like I think 
we might be having a yearning of those real special close connections and maybe not being not speaking about them or maybe making people aware of how you know appreciative times were and he said to me you know the only bad time I went through with your mum is when we was in court and it was like it had just got so nasty I don't remember any of this um so and I'm thinking and I think lies came out and manipulation and I'm just kind of standing thinking my parents are pretty good people definitely people that uplift the world my mum was such a community person okay maybe you know wasn't was maybe more focused on that than inside the house but I think we can all get lost like that but apart from that my mum for me was just goodness she just wanted to make a difference and my dad was just a man a gentleman gentleman I've never remember my pair well my mum yes she would uh use force okay to but she, then she was a single parent so and I don't know, I don't even look into that, it didn't do me no harm, okay, but my dad, no, my dad, I said to him today, you've never tried to, I believe you've just tried to do the best that you can, but he's never tried to control me, he has never been rude to me, um, so yeah, it's really nice to be able to express that, all these lovely connections that, um, you know, we've experienced, okay, so let's pull some cards, um, just the songs, it was like Kylie Minogue, it's, it's right here, I just put on some music really, just um, as I was potting around and it was like okay, uh, I took the, turned the radio on, that was kind of even worse, <laughs> it was like, okay. and then signs and synchronisations coming up, I've had like, um, what come up today, um, so I had Kylie, Min Kylie Minogue, all the lovers, and then the one that got away, an acoustic version, um, Katy Perry and the next one seems to be Jessie J casualty of love and it's like I don't really want to be in this energy let's talk about it if that's what the sink is but we're touching on something to do with bodies maybe we go back to like an, an, an original state like when we do our clearing we actually kind of come back to center all the weight is kind of all the shit we've accumulated I was thinking about human manure the other day it's like horse manure really is good for your gardens yeah and and it kind of makes it really grow it's like kind of really fertile stuff okay it's like the goodness in the shit we can kind of look at that at all the shit that's thrown at us isn't it you know when people are just and it's like just do it because you know why it makes me stronger <laughs> carry on that, that's how i really look at it is watching just people throw their emotional fear, judgments at you, and you're like, you're just making me stronger, a nice dose of human manure, I love it, what am I looking for, oh, okay, I had, talking about this, I had like a, a banner pop up, and it was full body health MOT, and I'm like, okay, um, yeah, something to do with the body, I must be about weight loss, spiritual awakening, um, signs, the signs are just, but we've been touching on that for a few days, the warning of pay attention, um, they're quite crazy aren't they, let me just turn my phone, hey Tia Lula, she's a pretty girl, I'm not going to move you darling, <laughs> right, so, I thought we'd pull from the witch's tarot. Now, I was on a Skype call last night and I was speaking to somebody who's obviously their spirituality is very much shining through and it's kind of um, being noticed at the workplace. Um, and she said that she was, with, somebody asked her the other day whether or not she was a witch. <laughs> and she went, I don't kind of do spells and, and stuff like that. I said, you should have just turned around really and just said, I would say more of a sorcerer. <laughs> I've learned how to manifest through my intentions. I've become a master manifester. You know, check out the law of attraction. But you will have these comments come about you being kind of in a cult. It's like, I'm just a sorcerer. <laughs> and I will show you how. Why am I reading through the book? I don't know. Okay. Ah, I'm glad I've got all that off my chest. Wow. Ah. And I did notice it was 13.13 13 when I came on. 
I don't know if I said that, but I wasn't sure. I didn't mean to press the record button. Well, I kind of, I don't know. I, I did, but it was like, I didn't think I had. What am I rambling about? And there's a card that's turned, oh, there's a few. Uh, we've got the Ten of Wands. This is the heavy weight that we carry. I'm just going to try and get some kind of flow of a story together here. We've got a resurrection. It's just moved my tape. I wasn't really prepared. I just kind of come on. Okay, we've got um, surveillance come up first. Resurrection, surveillance. We'll go with it. Ten of Cups, that's your happily ever after. That's being emotionally fulfilled. We've got the Chariot, that's about having the willpower and being balanced in your feminine and masculine energy. How many more did we get come out? We've got Justice, so a major arcana here. So is the, the Chariot, so Justice, I feel, is being pushed. We've got a King of Pentacles, that's a stable, secure, masculine, but we have the end of the road for him. So whatever path I'm going to say that masculine is, is on, he's no longer on. Justice is here and pushing you down a different path. Well, I've got a story from that bit. We've got a leap of faith being taken towards a Queen of Cups. This is interesting. Which is somebody that will emotionally fulfil you. You've got spiritual union. The Two of Cups, swapping of the Cups. And we've got... The Ace of Cups, unconditional love. This is that emotion, I suppose it's that um, basking. It, it, that's what I've been kind of doing, just basking in all this, just reveling in the feelings of that memories can bring of those special connections. And it's like appreciating, it's like just because maybe you moved on to different times, it doesn't make it all void, does it? You will still have, and I find that the signs and the synchronizations today are really coming in about this connection, this special connection, so, um, and then we've got temperance, which is balancing out the masculine feminine energy for reconciliation for that, when you can balance your cup, oh we've got another one as well, <laughs> um, when you can balance your cup, you kind of can go on to the rainbow, you can share that with others, okay, I'm in a really chatty energy. That's what that is, a chatty energy. But I said surveillance first. We have to stick with that. Um, and I'm sure I didn't really get much off that top row, but I definitely picked up here. Um, manifestation time. Just waiting for your ships to come in. It's like you sent the request out. You're just waiting for the return. Okay. I didn't even really... Uh, <coughs> they all come out at once it's about somebody standing their ground okay let's have a look ten of wands burdened on your way to success you're on your way to victory okay so you're observing the situation regarding your ten of cups so i'm going to say okay if i've been saying that reminiscence okay so in your mind you're actually going through what that's going to look like that's good because you'll manifest that. That's good. Um, it's like keep the vision. keep, And you know it's possible because you've experienced it. So then we have the universe here. He's saying that, you know, this is your will. Okay, so you are being pushed by the universe to kind of go after. Um, it's the card of triumph again. It's like it's your time even though maybe you don't think so because you can be quite armoured up okay and that's normally because of the knock-on effects you other relationships and situations have had it's like this fear of moving on but it's kind of like you're balanced enough the universe will give you a push justice is here another major arcana it's saying them scales are balanced there the sword's there it's like ready for the resurrection and it's for the king of pentacles okay so whoever's in this stable um i'm not going to say it's stable it's going to be a non-stable, okay, King of Pentacles energy because it's the end of the road, which means you've been travelling down maybe the wrong path. But the universe is here. They're kind of rerouting you, okay? It's like a reroute. Santa Claus comes to mind, <laughs> being in the sky and going, whoa, we've got to do a reroute. 
but it's the end of the road anyway. And that means that you've been knocked down so many times. Yeah, and there's a lot of talk I've done with my dad about self-worth and about actually when you know you're a nice person. Okay, and you get to this point where you might be a nice person, but don't really tolerate shit. It's like that human shit you can have thrown at you, but there is going to be a point when actually you're going to walk away. Now I'm thinking the circus and knife throwing. It's like there's only so long you're actually going to stand there and say, but as you do that, you just get more confident, just knowing you're not going to take me down. It's a bit like that song Titanium, isn't it? You shoot me down, but I get up. <laughs> Hmm. okay it's really weird because I've laid them cards there and it's um the kind of spare two that well they weren't spare because they didn't come out like that I didn't even kind of ask for anything so um the end of the road it's like there's something new coming in so you've got your manifestation here this is about I imagine that with your imagining okay the universe justice is delivering that to you does look like a leap of faith needs to be taken. Okay, so that's starting again. You've packed very light, which means that you're doing this the minimalistic way. Okay, not needing those possessions anymore. And that would probably be the lesson that the King of Pentacles would have learned. I shared a lesson yesterday on the um, Channel of Love Facebook page. And I don't actually even know what his name was because I was looking at it maybe for different answers. Uh, I was drawn by the title, maybe um, my perception it was a bit different, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. For one, he's very old school, and I have this, like, I remember, like, history teachers. I like people that, especially men, that are gentlemen, and, um, and just his persona. And he taught this lesson, and it was fantastic. I mean, this man has got experience of experience in this world, the corporate world. And he even said... Even after numerous times the universe took him down with a serious illness and he had near-death experiences, his pride still got in the way until finally he was very close to dying and he said, God, can you help me? And his whole life changed. And then when he goes on a bit later in the video, because he does it all on a blackboard, I love it. I'm like fascinated. I like Napoleon Hill though. I like the old style. Um, I like listening to yeah the older gentleman give the give the advice I, I love the others but I, I just resonate with it so there must be something very old schooly um with me I would love to have a school one day that had actually blackboards and we had old desks and mix it with the new but that's another dream okay why am I so chatty I don't know I'm very chatty today so leap of faith I never know what head I'm gonna have on you never I never know who you're gonna get I feel like there's just so many of me um so leap of faith Packing light, realising about that. And I said to somebody today, you should really send this, you know, um, to your masculine. It might be able to help him actually see and heal himself. Um, so it it helps you to understand. And he talks about going up the vibrational level. And um, I've always said to my children, to whoever, if they're real, I'm just like, check your happiness level. Some you can't say that to. I mean, some do walk around who are hypochondriacs okay it's not good to say to them you why don't you try checking your happiness level some people aren't very receptive to that but the truth of the matter for me is it's a it's our energy okay it's about whether we're in vibrational alignment and he shows how the spectrum works and it's just so well done if you actually stop and give it time and listen and then at the end you see him talk about his spiritual awakening and it's like his whole face changed and i noticed he made this noise that kind of went mm. And he kept doing this, and what I picked up on, it seemed to be when he was maybe channeling, that he was doing this. Because we all channel. You know, you just probably <laughs> don't want to say that that's what's, but if you allow it to flow, you kind of know what to say. And, um, and but you could just, when he spoke about the experience, the feeling that he felt of this bliss when he was taken into this kind of, I don't know, this energy field. And um, it's very, very good to listen to. But you can see his whole face change, the eyes, when he smiles. And it's like when you first come on, you think that this would look like, you know, quite a, a stern, strict master, you know, um, a lecturer. You just expect him to pull out a pipe. 
and um, you know the clothes, the the image, and it's all very. You can even even his classroom, and um, where am I going with this? I don't know. Maybe I'm fascinated about older men, <laughs> but for me it's very intriguing because at the root of it, they seem to have the biggest hearts, the biggest hearts, and um, in the core, it's just like you could just see his face change and you just you it kind of I mean, he even spoke about reversing the aging um process and i think he only touched on it slightly but i actually you could see how by being happy you just look so much younger and more radiant it doesn't really matter what you look like it's what you emit so i'm gonna maybe attach the link to it but you have to sign up to the hay house so it comes up kind of blank but um, it does give you the opportunity, Opportunity. it's only an email, they don't bombard you, it really does just give you straight access, so, um, and then you can always unsubscribe if they do send you future stuff, but it's from Hay House, which for me is just the hub of personal development, it's the hub of, yeah, spirituality in all its forms. And he spoke about that, and I pick up so much from these about how to bring them in with tarot, because the breathe card comes up, and you can get in lost, in lost, you can get, I was going to say such in lost, you can get so in lost in a certain feeling that you are in bliss and you actually don't have the need to breathe because you're just in this um, euphoria. So actually we can forget to breathe. It's interesting. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, let's have a drink. And then we've got, um, on this last row here, taking that leap of faith. Maybe that video might help. I don't know. Um, yeah, because you're looking at somebody who actually admits, I made myself really, really ill because I refused. I was still stupid enough to refuse. Even after everything I've experienced, even all the evidence, I still refused to see it until it was like nearly the last minute. And he talks about actually how the body, how the body, like when we die, so if we were going to be, let's say somebody was in front of you or and going to shoot you, he says that your soul leaves before the, we never die. As soon as they know that it's kind of game over, the soul exits. Before. So you never experience death. Fascinating. Listen to it. Anyway, the leap of faith is being taken towards this feminine energy. Okay, this queen of cups. So she's going to be loving and nurturing. Okay, and she's going to, she's going to understand emotions. She's the queen of cups. And there you have the spiritual union. So this is really when two do exchange their cups and their love with their holding their hands there. It's like a commitment. And it's a commitment to unconditional love. And it's really about just allowing this love to be able to flow now. The emotions, it's just like free flow. It's like there's no need to feel vulnerable. And that's really what will happen once you become balanced in your masculine and feminine energies. But this man was just, um, I can't remember his name. I think it's David something. I'm not sure. Dr. Dave. But a real big, like, mental health, all of it. I mean, he studied for years, all of it, in the corporate world, and then become fascinated uh, with, I suppose, happiness levels. Hmm. Normally the case, normally a lot of spiritually um, evolved people have left careers like that. I know that um, Christina Northrup, I believe Dr. Christina Northrup, she actually, I believe she left her medical profession because they wasn't prepared to look into the spirituality side of it as well. So they weren't really being open-minded. I think it might be her, but many of them do leave there. Dr. David Hamilton, he's a great one for self-healing um, to check out. So you can Google him, um, Dr. David Hamilton. He speaks a lot about happiness and that how that affects our health. Um, about becoming balanced now so that we can have our that pot of gold over the other side of that rainbow. Okay. And then, well, that's it. That's all I've got. It's a bit of a funny reading today, but...
I feel like I want to clear them away. I've got no cards organised. She's like a little squirrel in, <laughs> in hibernation. I don't even know if squirrels hibernate. But she looks like this. She's just so tiny. She's curled up in a little ball. Hmm. Okay. Why am I shuffling these? I'm going to use a Druid Craft Tarot, guys. And then we might pull some Oracle. Um, I just want to see what we're talking about with this energy. <coughs> a knight at the bottom now wanting to charge in passionately and then I just saw the emotional loss card right okay we've got the hangman the five of swords that's somebody who's pausing um The Five of Swords is about stopping certain behaviours as people get hurt. The Magician's here. It's like it's a pause um, because there's two major arcanas. So you have the Hangman, which is a major arcana. This is the universe saying to you, stop. You need to stop and think. Not speak and not really react. You need to stop. And it's like you need to stop your behaviour. Because the Five of Swords is about feeling ashamed, embarrassed. And um, I've spoke before about when you're in this kind of energy, you can continue to do it, but you cause more damage. That's when you get all those swords thrown at you because people think that they can treat you like shit. And you allow them to throw the shit at you because you always have done. You've always been there for them or maybe you've always been accommodating. Um, but then when you come to this point in life where you want to grow and move on, they're not really, you know, they've got used to you the way that you've been which might be quite compliant. So um, the universe saying to you, you need to stop, really. And it's kind of like the growing up card there. It's, um, speak about gentlemen, aren't I? He does look like a bit of a boy hanging upside down here. Oh, he's up the right way. Oh, maybe he's enlightened now. And he can, I don't know. That's when they get down, is um, when they're enlightened enough to see the truth of the matter that's really it and it feels to me if you get down too early you're going to cause more damage um so it's kind of like the surrender card that's really what it is and then we have the magician here i feel like i've got something black on my eye is it just my eyelash i'm not sure sorry <laughs> um the magician the law of attraction so it's basically saying to you stop because i think you can have a, I was going to say it all, which is really the magician. I spoke about being a sorcerer. Hmm. Right, let me get three more. It's definitely a masculine energy here. Okay, there's a Prince of Cups. Um, we spoke before about the horse looks quite ashamed, maybe. So it's definitely an apology coming in. He's... Um, It's like a, well, it's a reroute, feels like, it's a change in direction. So it's like, okay, let's have a look. Um, let's get two more. Yeah, again, the Prince of Cups this time. So what did we have last time? Oh, a leap of faith towards the Queen of Cups, okay? So it's a leap of faith towards who satisfies your heart. He's offering that, but he's actually offering it to the Queen of Pentacles, which is a secure, motherly, business-like. Well, she's just the, the mother card. Um, so the offer now is the love to the Queen of Pentacles, which I'm going to feel it's the same story. It's just the characteristics of this person is, you know, a good all-rounder. We have the death. Which is a transformation. It's a spiritual transformation. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, um, Nine of Swords. About being kept awake at night, playing heavily on the mind. Um, I was discussing this with somebody today, and it was like, 
if you are leaving certain situations like this and you're going on to prosperity, you will carry a lot of guilt about that, leaving people behind when they've been so used to you. Well, I want to say supplying. I'm not sure what you're supplying. Probably, you know, emotional, physical, mental support, financial. Oh, to be able to leave people behind, actually, who um, maybe don't have your drive or your vision, it is really a choice. It's like, because I don't see how, because of a spiritual union come up, I don't see how that works. One being spiritually awake and the other one not. And that's tough. And even if they do enlighten, I find, this is me personally, that still sometimes it doesn't work, it still doesn't gel within. I was talking today about how it must be hard to leave that and move on to your own financial abundance, leaving people behind, but kind of knowing that that's what you want for yourself in this lifetime. And that's probably why we have to keep coming back through our lifetimes to kind of um, complete it, this one. I think the video I've suggested is really important. I think it's bringing this in. There's got to be some kind of meaning to it. So, um, yeah. Right, okay, let's pull some more cards because um, they seem to be saying the same story. Sorry, darling. I'm going to use... Um... Oh, I keep scaring her. The Oracle of Shadows and Light. Let's pull a card and see what wants to come out and what the message is. And um, like always, we'll go from there. Okay. Wants to give me two. Right, let's have a look at the first one first. First one first. Um, Pink Lotus Fairy, a time for spirit. So it's a time to connect. He speaks about yen in that, when he discovered yen, and that's why kind of the lotus flower come through to me, really, because um, I actually believe I turned the video off because he said he was going to be doing a meditation. He's like an old schoolmaster. Anyway, so but he spoke about Zen, is it Zen? Z-E-N. And meditation. So, yeah. 43 brings us to a 7. So many 7s. Okay, it says, you may love. This is, sorry, this is about the pink lotus fairy. You may love your guilt-free rants, staying up too late and happily behaving badly. But you're about to balance all that out with some very powerful new spiritual teachings and connections. You are to meet a wise one who seems very still, very slow and very peaceful. That's this David man. I want to call him David Williams but I'm not sure. It says she but it's cool. We're a mixture. So you are to meet a wise one who seems very still, very slow and very peaceful. That can't be me today. I'm just too lively. I'm too chatty. <laughs> okay. I'm going to guide you to, to, to some guidance. She will be tranquil and serene and immense. Oh, sorry. Immersed in a path that until now has felt too slow or foreign for you. But this teacher who is represented by the Pink Lotus Fairy will assist you in finding more of your soul's true wisdom. Within this time of inner discovery, you will commit to disciplined new training in the mental realms, study and physical movement that is unfamiliar to you. All of which helps you to naturally choose thoughts and are empowering and enlivening, yet completely authentic and real. You will learn to be still, and to listen to the beat of your heart without giving in to restlessness. 
or the critical voice inside or the cliches the ego loves to trip you up with. After you have learned more discipline through peaceful practice of meditation or of exercise or mantras, you will nurture yourself more willingly without guilt and you will have returned to a place of tranquility, self-love and peace. You will bring into balance your own shadows and light. Don't worry, you will be happier and more peaceful, but you won't be boring. You, nev you could never be. Yeah, you've got to check out this guy. Okay, so the Pink Lotus Fairy speaks. On your journey, on your quest, there are times when it is worth finding that very heavenly place within where the soul of love resides. In this blissful state, this nirvana, you'll be nurturing some new, very enriching and exciting information and guidance will come to you. It would be very helpful for you to take up yoga, pilates or a physical exercise that has a spiritual practice attached to it in order to cultivate your inner peace and to receive these messages clearly. Soon a teacher, guide or mentor will enter your life. When you meet that person, know he is here to demonstrate ways for you to find your own path and to grow and evolve into the being you are meant to be. Go within, look deeply within your heart and find the love that overflows in its secret, quiet places. Your love is rich and warm and flowing still and it is time for you to renew your connection to the source via the teachings you will be introduced to soon. Okay, when you patiently learn from a good teacher who is pure in intent, <coughs> so I'm not choked, <coughs> I am pure in intent, I felt like I was choking on my own words, I am, okay, I am, I am, that I am, that's all I need to, I don't need to explain anything, so, <laughs> sorry, I just giggle at myself, I choked, it's like, don't choke on that, um, <laughs> When you patiently learn from a good teacher who is pure in intent, your powers of focus, telepathy, intuition and inner peace, no matter what the outer circumstances will be greatly amplified. Spiritual, oh, sorry, divination message. Spiritual quest, travel, calm, relaxed yoga pose, self-love. I know why, because I want, I was going to say something earlier, as soon as I saw the lotus, because I realised I was doing it the other day, and I was meditating, and I have the heart chakras here, and they keep me balanced, okay, here, but I found myself bringing them together, and I was in a state like this, and I, I wasn't embarrassed to tell you, I was just, and it's kind of come on to say, but it was because I the heart chakras, okay? So I feel it's balanced, okay? Your left side, your right side, your masculine, your feminine. And then we've got the core in the middle. And for me, I found, my, I found myself doing this, okay? I was in meditation and just in that stillness. Um, and I had the urge. It was like, bring your hands together, bring your chakras together. And I was like, I'm in the lotus position. <laughs> and I just went with it, Okay. So maybe that's why I choked. It was like, tell them. Okay, all right, I tell them. Okay? All right, so, and you'll hear why, because I just, the word chakra just, and they are the heart chakra symbols. So, I'll tell you, all right? I wasn't being that in authentic, was I? I can't tell you everything. Okay. Well, it'll come out when it needs to, I suppose, but spiritual quest, travel, calm, relaxed yoga pose self-love and self-acceptance, third eye and crown chakra activation, chakra awakening, connection to all, crown chakra connected to the universe, receiving universal love messages, self-connected peacefully to the earth, peaceful flowing energy in the body, tranquil sublime spiritual moments of connection, blessings showering upon you due to correct relationships with body and soul, it says correct relationships. So when it said there about um, sublime spiritual moments of connection and when I came on, I'm talking about those special connections that we have. Okay, like, like no other. Um, yeah. So it says take a... Not take a time. Time to take a class. 
course or new study programme. Time to welcome in a new teacher in the form of a physical being or perhaps a path that speaks to your heart at this time or a spirit guide who resonates with you. And that is the most important thing. I, I come on and explain to how this man, I don't even have his name. I'm not sure he's even worried about that because most spiritual leaders really, I don't really think they're that fussed about their names. It just kind of, it's just a name. And if you study the Tao, then it's like about not actually having the form. He, sp he speaks about this. So naming something's not really that, it becomes a possession. We need a name. So I'm not, maybe that's why I, it doesn't really matter. You'll find him and come across him if you needed to. Um, hmm, it's just a practice. It's like a, there's something in that, what I've just said, about naming things. Hmm. Okay, so. Know that while this path and, no, oh, I'm going to have to read that again, sorry. Time to take a class course or new study program. Time to welcome in a new teacher, even either in the form of a physical being or perhaps a path that speaks to your heart at this time, or a spirit guide who resonates with you. Know that while this path and tranquil, easeful, 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 <laughs> easeful, ease, easeful philosophy may seem out of character for you, it is deep and tr it is a deep and true part of yourself that has long, long yearned for acknowledgement, fulfilment and the nirvana that is on its way. Eastern and Western. Okay, is what comes to mind. It's just like the opposites, isn't it? When you choose maybe to do the different, the totally opposite to what you have been doing. It's like some people are going to really consider you to be crazy. And like I said, my first thing my dad asked was, am I working? I said, <laughs> he went working doing nothing. And it wasn't from a spiritual perspective. And I thought, oh man, you know, if only you knew. But he did know because actually I went on to tell him exactly how busy I am. And uh, just because it's not in the form, because I'm out of the house working, I don't know, in the supermarket, I'm not going to do that to please them. I'm very happy with what I do. And um, let's go to some uh, Aloha healing. Time out. It's about time to heal. Something to do with all this shit that's been thrown at us. What doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Yes, it does. Otherwise, we would have exit. Gone. Amara represents the spirit of the tropics. She is warm, sensual, sweet, and laden with gifts for you. She eats fruits and flowers and dances and sings the songs of her ancestors. She is laughter and fresh flowing water, and hope and warmth. She is at home in the world outside, in a nature filled with the sound of dolphins, the music of waterfalls, and the song of the warm breeze. So I was listening to, um, just in the background, you can find these videos on YouTube, it's all for about three hours, and instead of listening to kind of music, I put on, it was tranquil and it was waterfalls and water and streams and, um, Maybe I'll pass on that bit of <laughs> what I've been up to. Oh my. There are also many sweet aromas when she comes to you. And she wishes for you to slow down and relax and to take the time and smell the frangy pans. There is no rush when Amara comes into your world. She knows that while you feel rushed, you are not eating right, nor digesting properly, nor connecting deeply, nor sleeping well, nor, fe nor feeling fully. You are barely noticing the beauty of nature, both within and outside of you. So it is time to treat yourself to some relaxation of the Hawaiian kind when she comes to visit and embrace the aloha spirit. That's, um, I, that was the time that I first struggled. Just after my husband made his transition, I spent five days in Maui, Hawaii, and I Vented out the most amazing place. The most amazing place. And I didn't leave. I didn't go on any excursions. Um, I went to like the local shops and market. But I just spent the whole time just... And it was really hard alien. It was like, I want to do something. I just could not take those five days out and do nothing. I had to, and I did. And boy, you know, I was up early 
watching the sunrise. It was beautiful. It, so there's definitely some beautiful healing that comes from Hawaii. It's a place of tranquility. It's like when you, or when I went there, it's like I, it wasn't like when I went to like Florida when you do Disney. It was like, okay, and everyone was just lounging and it was really alien to me. But it seems that that's the place that I was drawn to go to, to, to have that. Um, so, I've got to find where I am. You need the power of sunshine on your body. No, I've got something about a song here. <laughs> oh, I, we haven't even read that bit, sorry. So it's a, um, Amara speaks, Aloha. It is time for a guilt-free time out for you when you will invite the energy of Hawaii and more self-nurturing into your life. It is time to discover and phase out those voices that say you must always work hard and be stressed to achieve what it is you wish for. I am of a time and a place where time moves in its own way, where you are one with the natural world and where your body and soul are entwined in unison and singing the most beautiful song. Comes in well with that mermaid siren song. You need the power of sunshine on your body. Please give yourself a sunbathe, a sunbath. I always say that, a sunbathe. It says a sunbath, a natural energetic healing of pure golden light. And feel the radiance warm your bones and fill you with joy. Okay, the divination message. A mother has come, and so it is time to begin to eat more fresh fruits, drink healthful juices and smoothies, take dance lessons. He talks about that. He could never dance, and then he couldn't stop. He was out boogieing. <laughs> Seriously, watch this video of this man. It's just, it's an hour of your time, and it's amazing. Okay. So, um, have a tropical bath with flower petals. And bring the energy of the waterfall into your life. Kahuna massage and body work is wonderful for you when Amara makes her gentle, powerful presence felt. She also responds well to dancing, joyful exercise, singing and music. Fresh foods, fruits and more raw food. And you would definitely benefit from more sunshine and outdoor time. It's absolutely raining here. It's like... It's a cleansing. There may be relaxation and healing traditions within your ancestry to investigate. Take a vacation and journey to a soulful place. Holistic treatment, treatments will have appeal, as will natural alternatives. By taking this approach and devoting yourself to it, you can expect renewed health and a possible new attitude too. Above all, it is time to connect to the power of sunshine in gentle, soulful ways. Surfing the ocean swims will be most beneficial at this time. Time to book holiday, I say. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pull something else. Getting a postcard from Spirit. I'm going to say this is definitely a masculine reading. Um... And it's kind of the same story. It's the Two of Cups. It's about spiritual union. Seems to be on the board again this week. It's good. It's all right. Okay. Okay. It says take flight. Sorry, it's really faint at the bottom. Can you see it? Now the message, it says, Dear you, there is always more than one side to an argument, two sides, if not more, to every story, and hundreds of ways to be right, be different, be at odds, and so on. Today we suggest that instead of looking for differences, you find a meeting place of agreement and approach this experience with understanding and compassion. Seek common ground to understand how another person thinks or how an alternative plan might be laid. Stay out of judgment too. Observe, discern, but accept that others have different stories, experiences and journeys 
and some people might refuse to remain open to another point of view. No matter what, you've been presented with a great opportunity to explore a new way of doing things once common ground is reached. You're attracting people and situations that enrich your life and bring you wonderful things to learn. We love you so much. That brought the reading in fantastically. It really is about when you go down the spiritual path. Because it just feels, it's authentic. That's all the spiritual path is. It's about learning to be authentically you, which is perfect. Okay. Um, journey of love. Send on a journey of love. And straight away in my head came out Carly Min Kylie Minogue. Why can't I say her name today? Kylie Minogue. Lovers. Don't know why. Went to pick up the... Oh, Tia, darling. Mummy's going to have to move you. I just can't pull the drawer out enough. I'm sorry. Journey of Love and just the word lovers came out. There is a card in here. Um, and that's probably why I wanted to say it. I don't know. Maybe because if it does come out, then I didn't say it. <laughs> It's the words to it. It's like, all the lovers that have gone before, they don't compare to you. <clears throat> I wasn't doing that at the song. I'm doing it because like, I seem to be in a really low masculine voice. <clears throat> I seem to be like, <laughs> choking like on my own beliefs it's like what are you doing <laughs> that could be interesting because it could be that people you know it would come in with this it's got to be something because i'm kind of like i don't want to make that noise at this point that's not how i feel and it's like about swallowing your pride it's definitely to do with this gentleman this um persona that men have but have a look at the beauty of the other side how you shine, how that's more appealing, magnetic and attractive than the ego. And maybe it's kind of like you need to hear it from a gentleman, someone that maybe you might look at and actually show respect, rather than the young spiritual teachers that are out there. I don't know. This one. But it says a burning hero. <laughs> Number three. From the transformative fires of life's test, you emerge now stronger in self-belief, overcoming self-doubt and fear, and shedding the layers that have held you back from burning as a naked flame of divine love. Can you perceive the coolness, coolness fast approaching to soothe your fire weary soul. Peace is coming to you now, a respite from the fire before you are ready to burn into love again. The intensity of fire exists in relationship to cool serenity and you are capable of experiencing both. Your inner fire has pushed you forward and your creative self-expression will manifest into the most beautiful forms. This is assured. You burn bright now, and yet it will be the cooling of your soul embers that replenishes you and inspires you to new creative depths and heights in due time. This oracle brings you a message. From the heart of your labour, sweet success will arise, and you can act now as if that success has already been made manifest. It is only a matter of time before it is so. From that success, new levels of experience and creative manifestation will take place. You are in a powerful creative cycle 
of intensity and serenity, dancing with each other through your heart, like the sweet relationship of day and night. This cycle yields great harvest. Offer yourself in contribution to the greater good and your harvest will be not only of earthly delight, but of heavenly blessings too. I touched on like employment, how people, what people see as being work. All we're told is to go out and serve, basically. Just compassion, love, to send that out. Okay, so here's the poem. Always feeling your love in every cell of my being. I open my soul, becoming one in your embrace. How rich the moment shared. I savour every one. And even when apart, your love envelopes me with knowing we are complete. Together, like a new day, we are born. Okay, let's leave it there. Have a fantastic day and um, I'll catch up with you guys soon. Make sure you check out, okay, I'm going to put a link to it. So click on it, otherwise get over to the Facebook page at the Channel of Love 666. Have a look, it's talking about, if you recognise the description, it'd be something, to, I'll put on it, Top Master, okay, so it's about studying back in the classroom. Um, check that out, it's only an hour of your time, but it could just change everything, okay. Right, um, have a fantastic day. Oh look, we've got Tia has popped up. She might lay that down. Okay guys, have a fantastic day. Bye for now.